Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. Yes, walking and talking, the beautiful beach in Phuket again, a little bit later than normal. This is now 8 o'clock in the morning in Phuket, still cloudy, I hear some thunder sometimes, so probably a bad weather day today guys, but beautiful day for the Bitcoin charts, four of them, amazing charts, one very special chart, yes a trading tip, yes a travel tip, yes some live advice, and yes of course answering a question of one of the followers and also talking about the news because there is something really interesting happening now in the decentralized exchange world and you need to see this now let's quickly jump into the charts first and hope you enjoy those so give it a thumbs up already Bam. starting with the day chart guys a beautiful day chart i've been sharing with you already now for over two weeks and telling you guys yes you're hitting the top of the Bollinger Band. On the daily chart, the Bitcoin family indicator setup that we use is giving a sell signal. And yes, we can see the Bollinger Band again compressing a little bit. So it would mean we could go to the middle of the Bollinger Band, which we already did. We even wicked through that $35,000 level that I told you already like five days ago that we would go there. If we keep spawning the red line, very positive, we could go up. If not, then we could fall to the next level of support in the Bollinger Band, which is around 33 thousand four hundred US dollar guys so that's a beautiful possibility there to take another trade if you want to trade in the short term wait for the confirmations of course let's quickly jump into more amazing charts before I go into the next chart guys a quick info about how we are insured as a family because we get a lot of questions how can you be health insured if you travel so much we use safety wings which is an insurance for nomads but also an insurance for remote teams it's a beautiful company built by digital nomads for digital nomads so it's a very cheap one it's 45 dollar per four weeks and um, it's monthly stoppable you can also just monthly start it of course beautiful including all the coverage we need medical travel all the other stuff guys we've been insured for, by safety ring now already for four years uh, we did a few claims all worked pretty well so no issues there at all uh, it is backed by one of the biggest insurance companies i think of asia so yes a very safe bet if you want to be insured in a safe way use safety wing if you use the link down below you have an extra bonus from the bitcoin family of course now now we are going into this chart very interesting chart bitcoin versus gold the battle of the anti-fiats Yes, of course, Bitcoin and gold are anti-fiat, but here we see the battle, guys. And the battle is represented in this chart because it's the Bitcoin price versus gold. And we can see every time when Bitcoin moves downwards, gold is winning. And every time when Bitcoin moves up with, upwards, of course, Bitcoin is winning. Now, if we look at that multi-year trend line now over there, then we can see that Bitcoin needs to break those two red lines. And those red lines at the moment are between 17.1 and 19.3. So Bitcoin needs to break those lines, then follow that cup, and come above that beautiful trend line. And the moment Bitcoin will break through this red zone and that thread line, that is again when Bitcoin will start to hugely outperform gold. Pause the video if you want to analyze the chart a little bit more. Now, then we have this chart, the weekly chart on the log scale. We can see the Bollinger Band's width indicator on the bottom. And every time when we see this yellow circle on the bottom, when we break that red trend line and we have that white line going up again, that is when the bull market is getting started. Now, look what is happening at the moment. We have the yellow circle. We are trying to break that red trend line at the moment. The moment we break that red trend line and we follow that green line up again to higher levels, that is the moment we will see a massive bull market again. So we are very close to that moment. You should be all in Bitcoin at this moment, guys. Beautiful chart. Then we have this chart, Kevin Swanson, I found on his Twitter. This is one of the possibilities I can see on the charts playing out as well. Yes, we are having this beautiful top. We can top out a little bit more. Yes, we can retrace to the 31, 32K levels before we go higher, for example, to a 48K level. So it's a very cool chart that I can also believe that that will happen now in the next coming weeks, guys. So beautiful chart, Kevin Swanson, a uh, good guy to follow him on Twitter as well. Yes, let's see if it plays out like that. So put some buy orders at 31K, at 32K, if you want to buy Bitcoin still a little bit cheap, around 30,000 US dollar, guys. Then we have the most important chart here, 
this chart is showing us which exchanges are collecting user data and which share them probably also with other companies and governments etc now we can see that robin hood is leading i will never use robin hood crypto.com also collecting a lot of user data i didn't know that and i am using crypto.com a lot and then we have coinbase binance kraken pi network coinbase wallet okx but look who is at the bottom at the bottom is trust the trust wallet i don't trust anymore after i was hacked this year for more than 200,000 euros on trust wallet and the next safest option for me is bybit maybe now you understand why i like bybit so much not only because of they giving back all these fees they make and bonuses to their users but also because they don't collect all the user data and give it to decentralized companies that I don't want my data to end up. There's a beautiful chart, also the last chart. I hope you really enjoyed this chart, guys. Yes, of course, always zooming out in the charts, looking at the bigger picture, but these charts are beautifully predicting where we are now in the market cycle and beautifully predicting that you should be buying Bitcoin every single day. But I will come back to this later in this video when I talk about a question of one of the followers because it's a very good question related to what you should be doing today, guys. But if you want to sign up to Bybit, then use the link down below this video because that will give you a shitload of bonuses. And if you did enjoy all the charts today, then give the video already a thumbs up now and share with your friends and family and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What kind of information and charts do you expect more than what I'm giving you every day already? Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for the day, guys, is... I don't have a trading tip, so I need to come up with something else. Uh, the trading tip for the day, guys, is very simple. Join the Bitcoin Family VIP members. If you become a VIP member, you get access to a VIP Telegram group. I am there every day in the Telegram group, sharing charts, sharing information, sharing beautiful trade setups, sharing live uh, advice. All that stuff is direct contact to me in the Telegram group with all the other VIPs. We do monthly a couple of AMAs only for the VIPs. So that's called VIP AMAs. Also, you will get access to the Bitcoin Family Signals group where we give you exactly the trades that we are doing as the Bitcoin Family as well. Only Bitcoin USD dollar trades. Yes, there is also, of course, in the VIP membership uh, Telegram group, a beautiful section about altcoins, which coins I am investing in. So you will get all the information that I share on social media, etc. But then way earlier than the rest of the world. And of course, a lot of information that the rest of the world doesn't even see. You become a VIP member of the Bitcoin family, you and me. Together, we will beautifully ride an amazing bull run that is going to come in the next two years and during the bull run, we are going to make a shitload of profits because the VIPs get extra allocations, get pre-seed investment opportunities, get access to the special charts, get access to trade setups, get access to my all portfolio, get access to everything else. Everything aside of my seed phrase. You won't get access to those words ever. So the trading tip for the day is guys, join me at the Bitcoin Family VIP group. Go to the bitcoinfamily.com, check products, and there you will see how you can become part of the VIP members. The travel tip for today, guys, will save you a lot of money. Don't always fly direct to your destination. Sometimes it's way cheaper to fly to a place or a city near your location and then take a train or a local air carrier to your location. For example, flying to Phuket is always more expensive than you fly to Bangkok and then from Bangkok, for example, with Air Asia or Lion Air to Phuket. Way cheaper. Yes, there's a stop in between. Yes, you need to stay in Bangkok maybe for a couple of hours or maybe if you want to stay in Bangkok, stay there for a couple of days and then fly with Air Asia. The combination of those two tickets is way cheaper than buying a ticket directly to Phuket. And that is how you can do it all over the world. So always check if it's not cheaper to fly to a big city near the location and take other ways of transport to your destination. And it is also way more adventurous, guys, because if you want to go to Chiang Mai, for example, of course you can fly there. But please fly to Bangkok, a cheap ticket, and then from Bangkok, Take the night train to Chiang Mai. Way more adventurous, way more beautiful. A beautiful experience. 
instead of just flying everywhere. So the travel tip for today is don't book direct flights, but to a beautiful location near your destination. And from there, take an alternative way of transportation into your location, guys. That was the travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. Turning around for the next part, uh, because uh, the sun is influencing the image, I think. Um, the next part, of course, is the news. There is two news items. The first news item is about Uniswap. Uniswap now launched its app for Android telephones, which means you can now download an Android app out of the Google Play Store, put it on your telephone, and automatically swap currencies in the app. So you don't need to do all the different steps anymore that you need to do before. You can just install the app and in the app do all your swaps. So that's really cool that you now can do that within a Uniswap app. And this is what I mean. This is going to be more and more simple for everyone out there to use these kinds of services. And these services that I'm referring to is decentralized exchange services. You don't need an account for Uniswap. You don't need to show who you are on Uniswap. But you're still able to exchange Ethereum for any other coin. Or maybe Ethereum for red Bitcoin. So Uniswap is a beautiful way to trade your cryptocurrencies in a very anonymous way. And they are now simplifying the use by creating these apps. Yes, there is already an iOS app and now they also launched the Android app. Just by installing the app, you can now start swapping without the integration of Google Chrome plugins, etc, etc, etc. So it just simplifies the use of Uniswap and of course also simplifies the interface which makes it possible for more and more people to start using decentralized changes. Talking about decentralized changes, we are going into the second news for today. Yes, it's becoming warmer and warmer on the beach, but the second news for today, guys, is that Apex Pro is nearing its one-year anniversary. And that's really cool because they now almost exist one year. And I have been with them completely from the beginning, guys. I've been supporting them, I've been investing them, I, I've been sharing all the information I could with you guys about Apex Pro. And in my honest opinion, Apex Pro is going to be the best DAX out there. I think it's already the best DAX. And now, nearing the one year anniversary, they're going to come with a shitload of promotions for you guys. So if I were you, and if you want to trade in a very safe way, non-custodial, by holding your Bitcoins in your own wallet, connecting them to a DEX and to the best DEX out there. A DEX built on an order book model. So yes, you can it, buy orders and sell orders in. It's not like Uniswap. Uniswap is just swapping. You can't do a buy order or sell order on Uniswap. In Apex Pro, you can put buy orders. You buy at these levels, you want to sell at these levels, you want to take profit at these levels, you can set a stop loss and all the stuff that you normally do, for example, on Bybit, you can also do on Apex Pro, but now, the Bitcoins or Ethereums or any other crypto are on your wallet. So it's self-custody. So you don't have the risk of an exchange collapsing and you losing your cryptocurrencies because they are on your own wallet, guys. Because they turn one year old, they are going to come with a shitload of promotions. So make sure you sign up today so you get access to all these special promotions, also exclusive promotions for my followers, guys. So do sign up using the link down below now to Apex Pro because that will give you a really cool boost and promotions in the next couple of months. Now, that was all the news for the day. Yes, some girls were distracted now. I also think about you girls out there, not only the men. <laughs> That's not Hannes D. That was an older guy. Okay, now, so that was all the news for the day. Let's jump into the next part. Then we come to the question of the followers, guys. One question was a very special question. This guy has been dollar cost averaging for the last couple of years, $25 a day. And he's asked me now, what should I do? Should I continue dollar cost averaging during the bull market or should I stop now, start taking profits? That's a very valid question. So for me, I always stop dollar cost averaging after the halving. Because after the halving, I believe I need to start focusing on the charts on when we start to top out in the Bitcoin bull market cycle. And from that moment, near that moment, I start to dollar cost average out of Bitcoin. So I'm not dollar cost everything out from the halving, but I'm waiting from that halving till that beautiful moment where we can see the pie cycle top indicator topping out and we can see all the other indicators, RSIs, etc. So telling us we might be finding the top of this bull market very soon. And that is the moment we start to dollar cost average out of Bitcoin. And my advice would be don't dollar cost average out with only $25 per day. 
I would weekly dollar cost average out with bigger amounts because there's going to be a lot of traffic near the bull market top. And if you want to dollar cost average out daily with $25, it will be a shitload of fees that you're paying. And I would advise you not to pay all those fees. So do it weekly with a bigger amount because the fees are going to be higher near the bull market top. So you save on all your fees and it also protects you from these huge drops that we're going to see after bull market top because from that moment bitcoin is not going to crash very slowly it's always crashing really hard with 10 20 percent coming up again again 20 percent coming up again so yes i would dollar cost average out near the bull market top but not daily weekly with a bigger amount and yes of course taking your profits over there and then again repeat sit it out the whole bear market the whole crashing sit it out sit it out sit it out till we see that we touch the bottom and there is a reversal and there you start to the dollar cost average in again every day for two and a half years because that bear market and the sideways markets will again take two and a half years till that new halving and from that new halving then again in 2028 it will take another two years again to the bull market up so yes 2026 27 that is where the bottom will be that is where you start to re-accumulate bitcoin and dollar cost average daily again but now I would dollar cost average till the halving in April 2024, see where we are with the price at that moment, and then just pause it and take your profits near the top. Hope you liked that answer. If you did like the answer, then give this video a thumbs up. If not, then reply down below in the comments. And there was a second question of another follower, really interesting question as well. The question was, Didi, are you thinking about any other asset than stable coins to exit the Bitcoin bull market? Yes, to be very honest, there's one asset I'm doubting about to try it. And that's gold because there is this new company in singapore where you can buy gold directly with bitcoins and also sell the gold directly for bitcoins so i wouldn't need to go through a bank through other stuff i can just send my bitcoins to this company they buy my gold they put the gold in a safe they make pictures videos everything of my gold i really own the gold i get a certificate i can even visit the office in singapore and check my own gold hold my own gold and then when the bear market bottom is there I believe gold won't crash as hard as Bitcoin. I will exchange my gold again for Bitcoins. So during the bull market talk, I'm going to try and exchange a little bit. But I'm talking about like maybe 3% of my capital into that gold in Singapore. From that moment again, buy Bitcoin back in the bear market with that same amount of gold. So I'm going to try it. That doesn't mean I'm going to take a huge risk here with a lot of capital. It's just for fun for me because my capital grew tremendously in the last couple of uh, bull markets, let's say like that. So yes, I need to try and do some other stuff as well. Real estate, hmm, I don't feel safe for real estate. That will give me the feeling I'm again fixed to a location. I own something there. I need to do all that government stuff and taxes and all that shit. I don't want to do it. So real estate, no. Gold, maybe. So that was my answer to the second question. Which brings me to the end of the video, guys. A beautiful life lesson. Um, the life lesson is powerful. Embrace change. Life is constantly evolving. It's constantly changing. Your life, my life, everything is changing daily. The strength of you having adaptability, being able to adapt to new situations, will really improve the quality of life. So embrace change. See change as a possibility to grow as a person. Not as a hurdle to overcome, but as a possibility to grow as a person. I think adaptability in life is a very strong quality that everyone should have. Don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of new situations. Don't be afraid of all the things that you run into daily of which you think, oh shit, this is going to go wrong. Just adapt to the situation. That quality to be adaptive to all the changes in life always makes me think about this quote by Bruce Lee. His quote was, empty your mind, be formless, be water. If you put water in a cup, it forms itself into that cup. If you put water in a bigger cup, it forms itself in that cup. If you put water in the sea, it will probably completely spread over all the ocean. So be like water, be flexible, be adaptive to any situation in life that will make you a very strong person, that will make you unbeatable, unbreakable, immutable. It will make you like the Bitcoin blockchain. 
strong, immutable, borderless. You will be able to travel all over the world without any limitations. You will be able to use your own skills all over the world without any limitations. You will be even able to share your skills with people all over the world without any limitations. The moment you start to believe that you are able to adapt to any situation in life. For me, the best combination is living a very minimalistic lifestyle. Don't own any houses, don't own any other stuff that ties you to a location or to a country. And from that moment, travel with that same mindset I just told you to be adaptive, to accept every change that you run into in life and see that as a possibility to grow as a person. And that is why I don't want to invest in houses or real estate because that gets me locked up in that golden cage again, in that country. Gold that I can store, for example, in Singapore, you know, what I just talked about, that still doesn't take away my freedom to flow, to flow like water. I want to be like water. I want to be formless. I want to be able to adapt to any kind of situation. And that way of living has proven to me to be true. Think back about the last two, three years. We as a family were able to adapt to the fucked up situation of wearing these things and getting those things everywhere in the world to enter a bar. We just adapted. We were like water. We flowed into the countries where there were no retarded rules regarding that fake flu. And so we lived a happily life in Mexico. And from that moment, again, a happily life in Portugal, where we didn't need to obey all that stuff and we could just freely flow where we wanted, how we wanted. And I think that is the biggest advantage of our lifestyle. We are able to adapt to any kind of situation and flexibly flow like water into a new situation that we might prefer. So for me, it's very simple. Minimalistic doesn't mean we want to be poor. We have a shitload of bitcoins. We can do whatever we want. Minimalistic means for me, the freedom to move and flow wherever I want without being tied to all that materialistic stuff that is in your baggage. The cars, the bikes, the houses, all the machines, all the inventory of your house, everything, all that stuff that you carry with you that you need to take care of. I don't want that feeling. I just want to step into the house, wherever I want in the world, pay the rent, preferably with Bitcoin, and just feel at home there as well, because I have my wife and children with me. And yes, we can still own those cars if you would like, but we prefer to rent one. So that is what I mean always when I say, we love the minimalistic lifestyle, not to be poor, but to be free. We can still rent big ass villas, as you see in all the videos. We can still have beautiful cars, as you also see in all the videos. But I prefer to be driven by a taxi because then I can do some work on the back of the car. Now, that was my live advice for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What did you think about the charts, the video, all, in infor all the information? And sorry, guys, there was not a beautiful song at the end of this video. Maybe next time I will have more luck. Maybe they thought after three days not filming on the beach, ah, he's not showing up anymore. Now they know I will be back on the beach every day. So come and show your booty. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of ending is that? Now, uh, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam.